Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So this is our early 2015 MacBook Air and been doing some video editing on this thing. And I've got some interesting results from all this. Now, I still stand by my review video. It's a great little machine. Um, it does have, of course, the side effects of, well, it is an older machine and it's a dual core 1.6 gigahertz uh, processor in this thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, if I'm right. Uh, yeah, 1.6. Uh, anyways, so it's got 8 gigs of RAM, 256 SSD. Um, anyways, um, so the last video that got uploaded today, uh, before this one, was the battery change. And, of course, that video was cut with my iPad, as is this one, but it was edited on this machine. And, uh, also compressed and uploaded. Now this thing, keep in mind, it's been, it's had a fresh repaste on it, it's been cleaned out, um, and of course today the brand spanking new battery. Now of course it was plugged in when I was doing the video editing, but either way, I have some results that are kind of interesting. The average temperature well the export took place uh, was actually between 100 to 102 for the CPU. GPU was pretty steady at 102. Now this is Celsius, okay? Uh, SSD drive temperature was 55 Celsius. And the export time only took about 18 minutes. So not bad. However, the fan speed maxed out, okay? Which is 6,500 RPMs. That's pretty juicy on the fan. And it didn't uh, take too, too long to climb up to that fan speed. It took, a, it took a couple minutes, but it finally hit there. Anyways, the compression was done through a program that's open source called Handbrake. I've been using that program for years on both Mac and PC. Um, and uh, the estimated time of arrival for being finished was 38 minutes to compress the video. Now this is all 1080p footage. Now, of course, the, in the editing stage, there were two separate files in the timeline, plus my intro and outro and stuff that I usually, you know, cut a few seconds of this and that out. Anyways, average temperature for the CPU is 94 Celsius, small bumps to 95, 95 and a half, but otherwise stayed pretty average, okay? The average GPU temp was sitting at 80 degrees Celsius, and the fan speed it stayed pretty steady around 5200 RPM. Now, after 10 minutes into the 38 minute time frame, uh, the fan speed did average out at 6117. So 6117 RPM, not quite maxed with a CPU temp average uh, continuing at 92 degrees and a GPU average at 78 degrees Celsius. So, we do have Mac OS Monterey on this as well, which is good for about another three years, roughly, of security updates before it's bye-bye. And then we'll have to put Open Core Legacy Patcher on here and pray that it doesn't cook itself. Because you do take a bit of a um, performance hit as well as much higher CPU temps. And our resting temperature on this thing is about 38 degrees on average, which is pretty good even after the repaste. And I think that paste is finally starting to cure up because... I did get a little extra in there. Um, so yeah, it does take a little extra time for that paste to, to set in and cure when you have a little bit much. But you know what? I'd rather have the little extra than not enough because not enough is bad, okay? So a little bit of excess doesn't hurt. Besides, it's paste, it's non-conductive. Don't worry about it. Uh, however, if you use that liquid metal stuff, yeah, you better be careful because that stuff is conductive. Um, but it does work though, if you actually know what you're doing with it, and I won't go near it. I, I just too afraid to, but, um, anyways, and I am using the keyboard skin that came with that battery and I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm a, I'm undecided on whether or not I'm going to keep it on there because it does make the keyboard look kind of blah, even in the video. So it's kind of, like, um, but it does keep the junk out of it. That's for sure. So, um, for video editing on this machine in 2024, <laughs> um, I think you can still get away with it. Um, I mean, you are going to have to definitely watch how hard you push this thing, but given how hard it got pushed with just having two files in the timeline and 1080p footage, 
uh, nothing shut down, which was making me nervous because Minecraft did actually shut this thing into thermal overload and went <clears throat> hard, hard power out, man. It was nasty. Um, so, but that's Minecraft. It's a lot more intensive than, than doing this apparently. So it would seem because no problems, um, nothing choked. It, uh, it did a fine job. It really honestly did. Uh, now, I still want to um, do some music uh, recording with it to see how it handles that. But I have a feeling if it handles this kind of torture, it's not going to have any issues with, with GarageBand or Logic because, I mean, audio does not take a lot of horsepower, you know. Um, in fact, it takes probably less than half the amount of horsepower um, than what video editing and compression tools do. So it's probably going to end up being a really good day for doing that. Um, but we're going to do it anyways, just to make sure that I'm right. Uh, cause I hate being wrong. Right. Um, it does happen at times, but you know, Hey, we, we do our best here, but, uh, I thought you guys might be interested to know about this and see what you think. Some of you may be still video editing with older MacBooks, and you know what? I say let her go. Um, you know, give her a shot. Um, I do recommend a rate repaste, especially if you're running an older Intel MacBook. It, it's probably over time due for one. Um, I use, um, I think it's called Arctic something or other MX4 paste, and it seems to be working good on any machines I've used it on, so I have no issues with it. So anyway, um, let me know in the comments below what you think of these results. Uh, let me know, you know, if you've got, you know, some experience video editing, how far you've been able to push an old dog like this. But this old dog can still uh, still do some work. Um, I, I do want to try some 4K footage, see how it handles that. I don't suspect it'll be much worse, but <laughs> we got to try and find out, right? You got to know the limits. That's the big thing. You have to know what you're dealing with to know how far you can push something. And uh, I think this is pretty good. So quite happy. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.